Reindeer are large deer that live in polar regions, including the Arctic Circle, and are adapted to live in cold climates during the winter months. They are found in most parts of the Northern Hemisphere, including Asia, Europe, and North America. They are the only deer species in which both males and females have antlers. Reindeer are large in size, averaging about 1.5 meters in length with a shoulder height of 1.2 meters. Males can weigh more than 300 kilograms, while females weigh around 100 kilograms. Because reindeer live in cold climates, they protect their bodies with a thick layer of fur and fat. Their antlers develop further in the winter and appear larger, and the antlers of females are smaller than those of males. Reindeer feed primarily on the stems and leaves of straw moss plants. Reindeer need to eat more than 2 kilograms of plant matter per day, much of it with a high moisture content. Occasionally, during the winter months when sticks are not available, they will eat twigs instead of moss. Reindeer are often featured in various cultures because of their gentle image. For example, in the Arctic, they are famously used as Santa Claus mounts. In cultures like Finland and Sweden, many fairy tales are set in snowy forests with reindeer. In some parts of the world, Reindeer milk is considered good for humans, and their hides and bones are used to make clothing and tools. Familiarized as Rudolph, he was a handsome reindeer with big antlers. The zebra, the iconic herbivore of the savanna, crosses the line between black and white. They are native to the savanna regions of the African continent, which have a subtropical climate with little rainfall, in the countries of Sudan and South Africa. Each species of zebra is distinguished by its distinctive black and white pattern, and each zebra has its own unique pattern. Zebras stand between 120 and 160 centimeters high and 25 meters long and weigh between 160 and 500 kilograms. And although they are called zebras, they are actually more closely related to donkeys with a similar size and build. Zebras are herbivores, mainly grazing on hay and tree leaves. However, being a herbivore leaves them vulnerable to predators like lions. Therefore, zebras mostly form herds to defend themselves against predators, but they also have symbiotic relationships with herbivores like giraffes and ostriches. While ostriches and giraffes have good vision but poor sense of smell and hearing, zebras have poor vision but good hearing and sense of smell, so they compensate for each other's lack of vigilance against predators. The temperament of zebras is very different from that of horses. Zebras have a ferocious nature that makes them difficult to tame. Genetically, they're close to donkeys, 
so they have a fierce temper, but they're also more sensitive than donkeys, and once they bite, they don't let go easily. In addition, the zebra's physique, with a large head compared to its body, curved spine, and lack of endurance, makes it unsuitable to be ridden like a regular horse, which is why they have been kept away from domestication. Surprisingly, a zebra's call sounds more like a dog than a horse. Zebras use it mainly to get the attention of other zebras, but also as a kind of alarm system to alert the herd when they sense the approach of a natural enemy. An interesting feature of zebras is their stripes. There is a debate as to whether zebras have white or black stripes or black and white stripes. The white stripes on a black background are the correct interpretation, as the zebra's fur is shaved to reveal black skin. Other theories about zebra's stripes include that predators are colorblind, so the stripes are actually a protective color, that the stripes evolved to disrupt the vision of tsetse flies that feed on animal blood, and that the white-black stripes absorb light differently and cause convection, which is used to cool the body. An adult zebra's hind kick is so powerful that predators such as lions have been seriously injured or killed trying to hunt them. In some cases, predators that have been struck in the face by a zebra's hind foot have had their jawbone completely shattered leaving them unable to feed and ultimately dying shortly afterward. As powerful as the hind kick is, the zebra's tusk is a weapon capable of inflicting fatal injuries. The zebra's oral cavity resembles a nutcracker, which is why it is so powerful. Natural predators risk their lives to capture a single adult zebra, and often try to do so in herds. Zebras live between 25 and 30 years, but few live to see old age and most die of old age, either as prey for predators or from lack of water during the dry season. We hope you enjoyed learning about the black and white striped animal. For more animal documentaries, subscribe to Alpaca World TV.